There are several breeds that can use a little bit of human intervention to help get those ears where we want them. A little bit of patience along with a roll of Nexcare Flexible Clear Tape and you can turn a rose into a button. Not sure what that means? I'll explain, so hang tight. While I totally love putting together detailed grooming videos, these quick and easy how-tos are the best for novice as well as seasoned dog owners. You'll be surprised at what you learn. And if you like these little snippets, be sure to share and comment below with what you like to see. Of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so so that you can ring the little bell. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new episode. Per the breed standard written by the Pug Dog Club of America, the ears can be button or rose. Button is preferred. It states the ear should be set wide on the head. The fold of the button ear is level with the top of the skull. The rose ear appears small and is folded with the inner edges against the side of the head. Okay, so what does all that stuff mean? Basically, the button ear has no crease where the rose ear has a fold and it frames the face. As with any and all breeds, I highly recommend that you check out the breed standard on the Parent Club's website, which usually includes an illustrated breed standard. That way you get an actual visual. While hanging with Raina Stewart with Chicola Pugs, she showed me the proper way to tape pug ears to help a button ear shape to rise. Just like in my Chihuahua ear taping video, this process doesn't hurt them in any way, and it helps create an ear without a rose blossom like fold. Get our tape. Not that much tape. Okay. Just enough to go around it and hold it. Tear it. And then we're going to make a taco. Make a taco! Oh. Start in the back. Because this is the area that's got the problem that causes Okay, the so the back is where you have the yes, problem. All yes. right. Make a taco. Start in the back and wrap it around. So you're wrapping the back around to the front. Yes. And we keep wrapping until we run out of tape. So once we get it taped, we're going to take this back part, which is the, the culprit that's the problem with a rose ear and just make sure that it's nice and firm and it's going to stay that way and make a little pigtail. Oh! So they look like they're wearing little pigtails. Oh my gosh! How cute is that? Okay, perfect. Alright, so you're folding it. We're making a taco. They're making a taco. And I'll do the other one the same way. Start it from the back where the problem is. Wrap toward the front. Wrap toward the front. Keep wrapping until you run out of tape. And then, once you get the taco made, you make sure that it's nice and stiff. And pull toward the front. Pull and towards you the have front. Pigtails. Perfect. Piggy tails! If you're taping your dog's ears prior to a dog show, just tape them up the night before and then take the tape off right before you walk into the ring. You're good to go. Now, if you're going to do a show circuit with multiple days of shows, put that tape back on after you leave the ring and then do it all over again the next day and every day of the circuit. Taping pug puppy ears is pretty commonplace. You see, when they're teething, the process is sucking up all of that calcium from all of those new teethers. That doesn't leave much for the cartilage for helping with the ears. Cartilage hardens while the puppies are from about nine weeks to nine months of age. So taping ears should be done on the regular to get that beautiful button look. Raina recommends you go about a week at a time, as necessary, of course, as your puppy is growing its adult teeth. So basically, once you see all of those puppy teeth have fallen out, or in some cases, yanked out by your vet, tape them up for a week, replacing the tape every one to two days. That way you make sure it stays clean. Then, take it off for a day and check to see if the fold stays. If the fold fades, retape. It's definitely worth the patience and effort, because it could actually take several months. So, until next time, happy taping, peeps!